He's awesome. Um, uh, no, no, you, you press new game. That was almost the worst thing ever. Uh, well, there goes stream one. And no, into this one would have been so much fucking worse. <laughs> He's muted. I was, I was, I was muted. I, um, I didn't really say anything of, of note stream. I, I said, um, uh, I love learning new game menus. Uh, that's about it. Yeah. I have to relearn how this game plays. It, it was just almost really scary because you were like one button press away from having lost like, two hours worth of gameplay. Have you played Zelda 1? Yeah, a couple of times. What do you think of the, uh, the retry button in Zelda 1? It's really good. You, you like that? That's, that? that's what games should strive to be, just kind of stupid sometimes. If, yeah, if I, if I make a game, I'm gonna have a, um, I'm gonna have a retry button if you, if you die. Wow. And, uh, uh, if, if you press it, then you actually delete your save data. That's awesome. Boss fight. Oh, was, uh, is this too soon? I mean, the bosses in this game are all, uh, very, uh, nothing. Yeah, but, like, so, like I, were there levels? If you want to do it, if you want to do it in order and have the boss fight as, like, the last thing you do in the world, there's a level you've missed. I, I yeah. love the noises these things make. 15. Level 15? No, I'm the, the death count. Number 15. Ugh. So you are just gonna go through this level then? Yeah, sure, why not? Cool. As said, like, in this game specifically, the bosses are so nothing for the most part that it's just kind of like another level but with a big scary enemy at the end. Is it just me or is this game, like, loud? Louder than it was? It's kind of loud. What happened? Um... Why did, why did you do that? I'm sorry. It won't happen again. I'm doing a lot of like accusing tonight. It's it's been it's it's been three minutes, and I've already been accused of two separate things. I don't, I don't even remember what the first one was. <laughs> also, I really like the uh the, the cursor on screen right now. That's a nice touch. It's um, yeah yeah. It's gonna get these. So talented. <laughs> So talented. It's a little. It's a little um. Power up. Uh, yeah, it's just like in Mario Galaxy. Mario Galaxy. <laughs> that is really good.
hidden enemy. Tan. Time for a stupid jump. I see. I don't think you do. Wait. Oh. <laughs> Seb, what's your favorite JonTron moment? I'm, I'm not gonna answer that. You're not gonna mostly because I, mostly because I don't really have much knowledge of John Tron. Wait, do I have to? But also part. No, um, you just missed that one guy on your first time through. Ow! <laughs> Holy shit! Uh, I was Seventeen. I, I, I was hoping one of them would hit you just to see how far you'd get sent. I love this screen. Oh, shoot. Another two deaths need to be added to this. 17. Pyro is pyro. It's so funny because um whenever I hear 15, I I do think of, you know, the the I think of chills, but I also think of the yeah. ice climbers. Because that's their fighter number in Smash. I see. Hey. Uh, try jumping forward a bit when you're doing the glides. That's Soldier TF2. Wow. I do love these yellow. These, these yelling dudes are the best. <laughs> I get the number. Oh, good job. Twenty five. Here's the key. Rondo. This guy thinks he's so cool. You don't know what it's been like listening to him over and over. But I'll tell you one thing. He should watch his back. <laughs> That's what you have to do. <laughs> I'll tell you one thing. He's a stupid motherfucker. Fucking cocksucker. Ow! Yeah. Uh oh. Whoa! <laughs> at least, at least I don't hurt you. Yeah, that, I, I, I like that. They just send you flying up cliffs. Whoa! Almost case in point. Here's the key, and now Mario will punch trees. Oh! No, my fucking back! No! <laughs> I do this that. level has a lot of silly sounding things. <laughs> I don't even know. I, I like the fact that, like, what is he even meant to be? He's a just a pineapple. thing. Oh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> My cartoony ass would be uh, doing that shit too. I, I agree, angry. I, I love how Dr. Shep looks, he's so funny. Uh oh. Ow. Whoops. 
Dr. Shemp 1, Spyro 0. Holy shit. Deaths 19. Oh, oh yeah, I was like, what, what was 18? <laughs> Also, Angry didn't even spell his name right. It's Dr. Full, not abbreviated. Oh yeah, hi Hayes. Oh, hi everybody. Just going for the blanket term for today. <laughs> Almost did an awesome speedrun strat. Well, Not really, but yeah, like, I was like, that would have been awesome. That wouldn't have, uh... oh, oh. Ow! Just smacks you in the head. So cool. Oh, oh, oh. And you forgot to stand on the dragon checkpoint thing. Oh, there's a check. Oh, I guess there was well, a checkpoint. When you, yeah, when you stand on like the little dragon pedestals, that sets a checkpoint. Ah. Hey, I mean, you dying means that we get to listen to more of them. You mean this thing? You don't even have to like. Yeah, you don't even have to get it to like save. But like when you walk over it, it'll like. Flash yellow. Huh. Oh. Oh. Yeah, the manual saving is scary because, like, manual saving is always scary. Video games should never make you manual save ever, unless it's Animal Crossing. I just think it's scary. The only reason why Animal Crossing gets a pass is because there's like a reason in the lore to save. <laughs> like, they, they contextualize that. I feel like fire is probably better. I, yes. He, he's a big enemy, he cannot be hurt by charges. Is that true? Yeah. I mean, yeah, I prefer having both. Because I like having my progress being automatically saved, but I also like saving before closing a game. I think more games need a guy that yells at you if if you didn't save your game. You can't be hurt by charges. Why do I why do I keep doing it? We can't be hurt by that either. Kidney would have never survived this. He would have tried Fun. that like once or twice and been like, oh, guess that doesn't work. Who wouldn't have survived this? Kidney. I see. What do you think I, I said, like kimchi? I didn't hear what you said. I know. 
Oh, do I need to grab the key again? Oh, yeah, you do. Where is that again? Um, that was up top. Oh, over there? Yeah. Is it just me or is the game just a little loud still? It's still loud? That makes me wonder how part one must have mm. sounded. <laughs> I don't know. I think it sounds not super loud now, but if that's what's being said, then I believe it. I mean, also, I, I like the skybox here. I kind of believe it too, yeah. You don't know if the level was reset? It was at 22, which sounds like what I said said it to last time. Also, there is a one thing that kind of frustrates me about Animal Crossing. So, like, if they have, like, a system set in place that detects whether or not you saved your game, that's essentially, like, you know, I don't know, like, isn't that just functionally the same as, like, being able to program it saving your game automatically. I, I don't really understand what you're getting at. Okay, Mr. Rosetti yells at you if you don't save your game. So they had to program, like, something that knows whether or not you saved your game or not, right? Yeah. But, like, does it... Being able to program whether or not it... It knows if you saved your game or not. Isn't that just kind of like the same thing as I mean, automatically saving it? Well, Hayes, it kind of does because whenever you like go online or something, it, it'll it'll. I didn't check my uh if I got everything. Yeah, I think you should have. I did round up you to got a, a good number. You got a nice, even number of gems, yeah. Okay. Yeah. You're still missing one level from this area. Even when you'd be online? I think there's still some areas that you go to where it, uh, it saves your progress before going. I think I went over here for something. Where a bunch of boxes were. Just a dumb old dollar. I think I already forgot this guy can't swim. <laughs> Whoops. 22? Yeah. Just gonna go ahead and count that too, huh? Did I get that guy already? Uh, check your inventory. Yeah. Well, yeah. Just feels so damn good to get. <laughs> I guess I didn't go over there? That's- no, that's just where a bunch of boxes were and that was it. Um... Hmm. Scared you, didn't I? A little. Did I scare you? I'm a job application. There we go. I like the music I already. Like, yeah, I like this level a lot. Like, design-wise, it's just okay, but the, the way it looks is awesome. Where's I the like ice, ice physics? I like ice stages in games where it's like, it's not just primarily white. 
like in this, there's a lot of blues and purples lining everything. So, what did you think of, um, what did you think of Vancouver Velocity? <laughs> what? You know, from, from Mario Kart? I don't know, I haven't, I haven't seen that little. track at all. Wait until you grow big, <laughs> like me, before charging those large enemies. The guy's so hot. Vancouver Velocity is like one of my favorite. I mean, it, it'd be kind of fucked up to say it's one of my favorite Mario Kart tracks, right? But like one from the phone game. Phone game. What do they like? Are they like hot in the remake? Kinda. But this stage is probably one of the best examples of like why I prefer the original a lot, just in terms of... I don't know, the, the, the remake one still looks really nice, but there, there's something very special about how the ice looks at this stage to me. You would not like Bowser Jr.'s journey. What's Bowser Jr.'s journey? What's the 3DS remake of uh, Bowser's Inside Story? Oh, I see. Because for some reason, when they remade the Mario and Luigi games, they had to add on like a uh, like a card game. Right. Question marks. <laughs> what are the question marks about? Oh, no, same. I mean, yeah. I, I think I'm just, like, out of my mind right now. <laughs> Having a random, a random Nintendo games I've never played in my life it, uh, quoted at me every 15 seconds. This is a new perspective. Okay, you're not a, you're not a Nintendo guy. Also, you totally missed some gems at the very start of the level. I did. I, I just saw the glimmers in the distance. We gotta go get him! Yeah, I just realized, yeah, I've, I've literally brought up like three different Nintendo games. <laughs> and I'm always like, what's that? Oh. You know what Animal Crossing is. Well, yeah. You played it. A little. See, that's what I'm saying. Um, I'm unaware of... <laughs> oh, they're asking me questions, all of them. <laughs> Um, I don't know what Cuba Bar is. Doshin the Giant looks really neat. Uh, hang on. That does seem like something I want to like. Breadbug looks silly. I, I, li I like this thing. We gotta get you on Pikmin. Spyro. I want to be Some on Pikmin. Big norks up ahead are wearing armor. And in the ice cave, armor can make their feet very slippery. In the ice mm. cave? Hmm. I love this guy's voice. It's really funny. <laughs> Spyro! They're wearing armor! They try to steal your points! Maybe we could do the inverse of this and, um... Um, I get to watch you play Pikmin games. I mean, maybe. Um, oh my goodness, giant bread bug. Now this is, this is real. I love that guy. I love that guy in Pikmin 4. How do I safely get those? <laughs> what? Were you laughing? I forgot about these. <laughs> Were you laughing at my question? <laughs> I, I forgot about these two gems. They're really funny. Um, the answer is there's not a very safe way to get it. 
Uh, you just have to charge into the posts. Wait, really? Oh, do they like fall? Yeah. Oh. There's like a lore. It's. Thing. Yeah. It, it's just scary. Can I glide from here to get that? I mean, do you think you can? Yeah. Then go for it. How much do you know about Pikmin? Uh, almost nothing. This is going to be very interesting. <laughs> I think I think you'll I think you'll quite like it. I I bet I would. Like over time, I've been slowly getting around to playing different Nintendo games. It's just there's also so many games out there that it's like oh, Stupid I'm Nintendo never gonna games. get to these all. But I didn't say that. I mean, yeah, Pikmin 1 specifically has a different aesthetic than I, the rest of the games, I'd say, but, um... Thank you for releasing me. <laughs> <laughs> I love those ones. My beloved. But, uh... I, I mean, like, how do you feel about games that have, like, a, uh, Contextualized and realized, like, ecosystem and lore that, uh... Explains why they would exist as actual animals. I mean, I feel like you know me well enough to know how much I would love that. Uh, you're that's, going to... That's so awesome. You're going to spend so much time reading flavor text in Pikmin 2. I I love to reading flavor text for hours. They write down, uh... They write down enemies down to, like, the, the, ge the genus. Like, I, I, I love that stuff. Yeah. I'll, 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 I'll give you a, uh, I'll give you a teaser. One of my favorite tidbits. Uh, one of the most common enemies simply looks like a, a, a smaller version of another common enemy, the Bulborb. Yeah. Uh, but it turns out that the smaller version is actually- Oh shit. The smaller version is actually a different species than the bigger version. And they simply- I see. Uh, developed the ability to camouflage, uh, to, uh, adapt and survive. So what benefits are there to this thing? Deciding to camouflage as a bulb bulb. Uh, it can be taken care of, I guess. Uh, okay, so it's okay, so it gets taken care of by the bulb bulbs. Okay, so it's like a cuckoo bird. I, I suppose where, like, so, yes. <laughs> well, like they lay the lay they lay the egg in a different bird's nest, and then it gets raised by this other bird because it's like ah, this is my child. Yeah, the big ones are chill with it, and also. In Pikmin 1 specifically, I don't think they do in the other games, but the small ones are always awake while the uh, big ones sleep. So if the small ones see you, they'll scream and wake up the big ones. That's very cool. Wait, was that cave bonus? I mean, technically, but like... If you want to collect everything, then no. Seb, I think you and I both have a very, uh, very clear understanding of, of what I mean by bonus. How do I kill these guys? Oh. You, you knock them off the edge. I didn't- have... Yes, I'm aware of what you mean by bonus. It's a good gif. It's a very good gif. I should really clean out the uh, funny images folder.
I like Pikmin 1 and Pikmin 3. Did you play? Oh! Uh-oh. That was rough. Uh, did you play 2, Winter? Or... or... I know some Pikmin 2 haters, so... You drop... you drop two at, like, right at the end? Oh. I'll let you borrow my copy, so... I see, I see. I think the hardest part about playing a Pikmin game is the beginning where they have to explain how Pikmin work, as if you've never played it before. Well, I mean, in yeah. my case. Well, no, I mean, like, each game will do it. Yeah. Like, the, they'll, they'll have to explain, like, oh, the, the, these guys follow you and all that. What are these strange oh. creatures? They keep following me. I can throw them? Can throw them? Can I eat them? I'm sure, yeah, they make that joke. <laughs> As they should. But yeah, that, that's like the hardest part about playing games like that. Where they have like the same gameplay, but because they want as many new players as possible, how to describe how the controls work every time? Eh. And I mean, like, I mean, fair enough. Yeah, like if you if you're able to get over it, then yeah, I usually am because you know, it, it, it's just like they got better about adding like a skip button, but right. I think two specifically just has like a very slow start. Let's see. Ragnar? You've done well, Spyro. Some dragons thought you weren't ready, but I knew they were wrong. I'm ready, all right. Ready for what? <laughs> <laughs> Every time it's funny. I really should not be fucking laughing at this a week later, but I'm still thinking about a pinch of salt. What? Like one of the dragons is talking about like cooking something and they're like maybe a pinch oh, of salt. Oh yeah 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 and then, yeah. Like their voice gets cut off. I'm still thinking of Thor, the dragon who says thank you for releasing me in that really the silly nasally voice. Thank you for re releasing me. Yeah, but his name is Thor, so it's funny. This is like the most powerful guy in, in Marvel. Is that really a Pikmin? No! He's eating it! The dragonfly has a name, right? Yeah, Sparks. I don't... Yeah, I remember that. I don't know why... I... Fox the Dragonfly, my beloved. Just a silly little creature. Who do you mean in Smash Brothers? Uh, uh, I don't play Smash very often at all, but I like Game & Watch. As you should. He's fun. This is just a normal name. Thank you for releasing me. Thank you. <laughs> What's your major? <clears throat> Trying to think of what other characters I especially liked playing in Smash, but like... Cloud? I've played... 
Cloud's very cool. Um, <laughs> it's okay. But... What do you mean, it's okay? It's okay. No, I know you don't like Cloud. I think you're lying to me. You should um, was... but no, I'm just trying to think of like, what other characters I especially enjoyed playing with. Because, like I said, I've played the game like less than 10 times total, I'd say. I almost said something really fucking stupid. Also, playing Smash less than 10 times is kind of crazy. Like, I played Super Smash Flash 2 a lot in, like, the school computer labs, but that's different. Yeah, you probably played as, like, Luffy or Mr. Incredible. Uh, well, no, that's only in Smash Flash 1 that Mr. Incredible's a character. <laughs> they didn't bring him back for the sequel. <laughs> uh... But no, in that one I really liked, um, the Final Fantasy Black Mage. I was gonna say something really stupid, I was gonna be like, yeah, I bet you wish they put in Final Fantasy XIV guy instead. Absolutely not. <laughs> you, you can't replace Cloud for me like that. I love the idea... <laughs> I was talking about this to Autumn, because, um... Like, years ago, Donkey made, like, a video about Kanye's new album at the time. And how he leaked the, the, uh, the track list. And he said, like, some song, and he was, like, featuring the sicko mode rapper. <laughs> and I, wow. I really love that title. The sicko mode rapper. Hell yeah. <laughs> right? I love the idea of, like, calling somebody or, like, referring to somebody as, like their best work singer performer whatever yeah fun stuff i personally would argue that it wasn't his best work compared to some of his other stuff but like you well, know there's there's like three sicko mode rappers <laughs> that's true I'm still missing stuff. Yo, I'm missing a decent chunk. I know where a couple of the things you missed are, but uh, just keep exploring for a while. I I might have an idea on how to get to one of them. Do I even have a key? Oh, I do. Okay. You have a key. So I can get that one here. Yeah. <laughs> Gotta... There's, there's definitely one part that... Um kind of tripped me up and I'm trying to figure it out, but I, I want to retrace my steps. That's fair. Yeah, uh, Final Fantasy 1 Black Mage was a very fun Smash Flash character, plus like, you already know I really like that sort of design of just like, the shadowy glowy eyes, but like, I, I think one of my favorite things about it is just, it has a move that's like a delayed spike. Ooh. So you like, you hit them with that, and then like three seconds later, they'll just get sent flying downwards. So you could like, hit them with it, then grab them and throw them off stage, and then they just immediately get spiked down and die. I've probably mentioned this before, and I'm sorry for bringing up so many stupid Nintendo games, but you should see Black Mage and, um, and Mario Sports Mix. What? Black Mage is in Mario Sports Mix as a guest character. That's insane. Because Square, Square Enix made it. I'm I'm glad they understand which, which of the Final Fantasy 1 characters <laughs> is the best looking one, though. I didn't want to do this yet! Uh-oh. Yeah, they have Black Mage, White Mage... Yeah, Black Mage and White Mage are kind of the two big ones. Uh, Cactuar... Uh, oh. Slime from Dragon Quest... Moogle... Oh. Uh... This game sounds awesome. I think there's a sixth one, but I don't remember. Oh, Ninja. 
Which I think is also a uh, Final Fantasy 1 class. Yeah. You will be surprised I to like find... it. Oh, yay! Um, I like the Final Fantasy 1 White Mage a lot. And I, I like the way that in F FF3, you can get an upgrade. Uh, like, that upgraded form just gives them cat ears. In Final Fantasy 1? In Final yeah. Fantasy 3, oh. the White Mage in that one, you can upgrade to give cat ears too. Okay, I'm missing three gems. Yeah. That'll be two gems. Oh. Oh. Oh no, that's a bat. Hmm. I know exactly where they are, so like, explore for a bit and then I'll tell you if you are uh, completely stumped. Are they in caves? Yeah, this entire place is a cave, but I get what you mean. <laughs> Shut up. No. If you're allowed to be precise with semantics, then so am I. When have I been today? Not today, but you will be eventually. Um... But yeah, cool game, Mario Sports Mix. Also cool game, though not Final Fantasy, but instead Dragon Quest, uh, Fortune Street. Right, fuck, I've, I've heard of this one. I fuck with Fortune Street. I think it's a mostly Dragon Quest spinoff, but... Like, one of the only games that we ever got in the West uh, was probably just because they included Mario characters in it, too. But, uh... It, it's like this Monopoly type. Wild. Uh, there was, like, a recent-ish release that was, like, a crossover between Dragon Quest and Final Fantasy. I thought that was kind of... I'm just looking through the characters from Dragon Quest that you can play as in this one. And this this pretty neat in the Wii selection one? of characters. Yeah. I am a... a lot of Dragon Quest 4 and 8. Yeah. Probably because 8 was the most recent one at the time. 8's also just one of the most popular ones. Like, people love that one. Well, I'll tell you what... When I went to replay it, um... It was a few years ago at this point. I'd love to play it again sometime, but uh, I, I think I'm a Sandy maid for life. Hmm. Or I forget what her localized name is. I think it's Stella. Stella, yeah. Okay, Sandy is her Japanese name, I'm pretty sure. I see. I always get it mixed up because I've seen her theme song uploaded as both. Right. I do not know much about Dragon Quest, but I I like I like Stella. <laughs> Stella's neat. I, I played like half of Dragon Quest 9 before. I think she shows up in um uh like eleven briefly. I wouldn't be surprised. Either that or you can dress up as her. Either way, kinda cool. Yeah, Sherbert, look up Sherbertland Mario Hoops. <laughs> Good shit. Masayoshi Soken, uh, uh, bangers. So cool. Do you want me to just tell you yet, or are you good exploring? I mean, I've been just kind of, like, looking around these two cave areas. 
you, if you okay, think there's well, like a way to hint at it. It's in the other cave. Okay. It's a cave you have to jump up to platforms to get to. Oh. Have I even been looking in that one? No. But you know. <laughs> I have not heard the Sherbet Lamp theme though, no. I'll have to good. listen to it sometime because I believe it would be very cool. If you do you like house music? Yeah. Then yeah. It's, it is one of my favorites. It's kind of what got me into house music in general. <laughs> because I was like, I like music with the with the drum beat like this and a piano like this. And then, I forget who it was, I think it was Dynamoto was like, you, you should listen to house music, and I'm like, okay. Oh. There we go. That's so fun. Yay. Stuff. So we're done with this world? Yeah. Alright. Save often. Yes. Uh, there's Balloony. But uh, no. The, um, I, uh, Cliff Town is definitely my favorite from this set of levels. Gosnol to the balloonist. <laughs> Stay here. Go to magic crafters. Best world. Entering magic crafters uh, world. This, this is probably my second favorite world coming up. I think I like Dreamweavers a bit more, but I think all of the worlds are rather strong. So this is no big deal. my favorite looking so far. This is the fan favorite in general, I think. That makes sense. It's water, careful, that's dangerous. Why would they put that there? So you can jump over it. I thought you were about to fall into the water a second time and I was going to be like, <laughs> dude, come on. I'll keep that in mind. It was just really funny because it's like don't don't don't, don't make your standards too no, high. Literally no purpose to go across to the other side, so it would be really funny. Cosmo, welcome to Magic Crafters. I want you to release the dragons, reclaim our treasure, and recover the eggs from those pesky blue thieves. You're just saying that so that you can pronounce the letter R. He's so cool, isn't he? <laughs> I love the sound of these guys as well. Get him? Or I just just have to wait. Uh, you just walk away and then he'll jump back down.
I was watching somebody pronounce it for... I don't know why I don't just do that. <laughs> I was watching somebody, like, try to do a voice for a character that puts on a French accent, and part of me kind of, like, died when they said petite instead of petite. That's like... That's like French 101. You're not supposed to pronounce the last consonant. Though I will say, um... <laughs> it was very fun, like, watching, uh, or, or, like, looking back at that, how that character is written, because, uh... As a kid, I didn't really know what French was. You're French-Canadian? Well, do you speak French? Ow. This place got two eggs. You're a fraud. Well, that's fine. I like the the uh, sound of like these the, this magic stuff. Uh, yeah, is it just supposed to? Is it just? Is it supposed to sound like a voice or is it? <laughs> like very slightly, I guess. Like kind of, but not really. Everything in this game is just a silly little thing. I like how they laugh at you as well. Yeah. Oh, ho, 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 you fell for my wizard trick. <laughs> Not the wizard trick, no. So this guy's also funny because like don't flame him just jump down next to him <laughs> He's incredible Ow Okay, well hero king and riddle me this <laughs> I'm sorry. I did find that really funny <laughs> Hero King, riddle me this. Do you, do you, um, do you, uh, do you like poutine? When you see arrows like these, you can charge along with them to begin a supercharge. Supercharge? Excellent. Go ahead, try it. This guy looks like he ate a bee. High caves. Oh, I love this level. Is there like weed in it? <laughs> you love poutine. You're so you're, you're you're so funny. Is it just fries and gravy? Or is is it is there more to it than that? It's fries, gravy, and cheese curds. Wizard. Wizard, my beloved. Why are there so many wizards in this game? Why are there so many wizards in the place called um Magic Crafters? I wonder. And cheese curds. Are cheese curds just like cheese balls, basically? Balls of cheese? Have you lost count of how many times I've died? Yeah. Okay. It was fun while it lasted. I got distracted a couple of times, I'm sorry. I've had like fried cheese curds. Because, you know, it's America. S 
squeaky cheese balls? That just doesn't make it sound appetizing. Yeah, our food s s screams at you when you bite it. <laughs> yeah, isn't that what you want? Do something about these green druids. They insist on moving everything in sight. Why do we have to? I like I like how he I like how he stands at the end. Of that yeah. it's funny. Why do we have to wear these ridiculous ties? They keep adding things to poutine over here, too. Like, um... Like what? Do they add, like, Cheetos? Would you try sushi rolled in flaming Hot Cheetos? I mean, I'd try it, but that sounds stupid. That sounds stupid? Yeah. I don't know why... Oh. What's up? I was just gonna say, also angry, I think you're thinking of Alpine Peak with, um, the enemies. Uh, the couple of them that, like, bring up the walls and then bring them back down, and then they just don't bring them back down in the Reignited Trilogy if you're playing at 60 FPS. In here already, right? Ew! No, you haven't been in here. I do not like the thing's legs. These things are scary. Ow! Invincible creatures. Are they invincible? They, they chase you down and... Are they actually invincible? Yeah. Or at least through traditional means. Angry, you jest, but uh... You don't know the half of it. But uh... What was I gonna say about it? Like, I'll, I'll be honest, that, that Cheetos sushi shit sounds disgusting as hell. It's It sounds stupid. It sounds stupid. I'd eat it because I'd eat most foods, but like, that's dumb. Do you like Cheetos? Why? Do you like Cheetos? Not really, but like, I'll eat them. <laughs> You know, I appreciate that, you know? You, you do a lot of cooking, but that hasn't made you like a snob when it comes to food. No, not especially. How about uh, ice I'm, cream? Well, <laughs> ice cream and gravy also sounds uh, not too great. I'll be real. <laughs> I know, hot take, I know, but... I thought you were gonna say some I personally don't think I would enjoy eating that very much. I thought you were gonna say some shit like, uh, you know, ice cream and gravy also sounds like something that I would... try, but... <laughs> I know that sounds fucking awesome, but... Look, if someone gave me a bowl of ice cream and gravy and told me to have some, I would have some. Yeah. But I don't expect that I'd be like, hmm, this is delicious. I mean, whenever I think of weird combinations like that, I just try to think of the components of uh, of the ingredients here and, and see if, like, there's any way to envision it, you know, in a way that it's like... Do you know how messed up it would be to have hot gravy over ice cream? When I become big what? and strong... There's hot like fudge. You. I'll squash them all. <laughs> this isn't then, fudge. Remember that supercharge makes you invincible. Skylander supercharged. Skylander supercharge. Um, but yeah. I also feel like that gravy tends to be a lot more like liquidy than the hot fudge. Like <laughs> it's, it's much thinner usually comparatively. It kind of would get everywhere. I think I'm just... And just melt it down. Think of, like, um, cream gravy. What's cream gravy? Like, white gravy? I had to explain this to- I, I had to explain this to Cam, too, and they thought it was disgusting. You, well, what is it? You know what- you know, like, white gravy? No- no. 
I'm... Can you look up um? Try combining supercharge with <laughs> jumping and gliding, and really explore the high cave. <laughs> Why does he look like that? <laughs> Please replay Dragon. I want to see him again. <laughs> Wait, how do I do the... Go on to hit. I didn't know that was a it's feature. Trick. Try combining supercharge with jumping and gliding. And really explore the high caves. Dried out. Yeah, like, I know your example is meant to be gross. I'm just, like, explaining the extent of it. <laughs> uh... Oh! Anyway, white gravy. Explain. Uh, can you look up, like, um, like, gravy and biscuits? <laughs> I, 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 I explained the same thing to Cam, and they thought it was disgusting. Oh, okay, so it's like a white sauce gravy. Yeah. It's like, um... I mean, that sounds okay. Yeah, it's like, um, sausage, or, it's, I'm trying to think of what exactly it's made out of. It's like, it's like a sausage and, like, cream thing. D. Biscuits and gravy is a popular breakfast dish in the United States, especially in the South. D the dish consists of soft dough biscuits covered in white gravy, made from the drippings of cooked pork sausage, Flour, milk, and often bits of sausage, bacon, ground beef, or other meat in it as well. Yeah, no, that sounds fine. Okay. I'm it's not... just like a very savory white sauce. I don't know why Cam thought it was so disgusting. <laughs> they like looked at pictures of it and tried to prove it. <laughs> tried to prove it to me. I'm like, mmm, mmm, that looks delicious. <laughs> well, I mean, I understand why you look at why one would look at this and be like, nah, that's gross. I think it would be tasty though. Cheeto dragon? White gravy? Elaborate. <laughs> Doesn't look too bad. Pork related, pork tummy angry. Spicy pork bulgogi. You're missing a lot. Two eggs. Two eggs and half the gems in the level. What did I do? It's levels like these that uh, really make me uh, wish that there was like a uh, overhead map, but I mean, usually the levels are bite sized enough that it doesn't really call for something like that. I mean, this level's also rather small, if you look at it broadly. I think that an overhead map would kind of kill a lot of the appeal of the game, of like being able to mentally map out these small areas very clearly to kind of understand where there could be potential other places you haven't looked too hard in. I suppose so. Oh, you can play this shit with the D-pad too? That sounds awful. Yeah. It's a PS1 game. Well, yeah, but like... Cool shock. It's a PS1 game. I'm, I'm pretty sure the Dual Shock very... made a any other control method like obsolete. I mean, hang on a sec. I mean, like, did the uh, regular PS1 controller have two sets of uh, L's and R's? Um, that's a good question. I'm pretty sure that, like, the original PlayStation controller was literally a Super Nintendo controller. Also, yeah, this game predates Ape Escape, so it, it wouldn't- so of course you'd be able to use the D-pad. Was Ape Escape, like, the breakout title for the DualShock, or did it come out um, before Ape Escape. Ape Escape is basically, like, a big tech demo for DualShock. And they abandoned it. <laughs> I mean, th they have three games in the main series and then a bunch of spin-offs. I think it took a while for it to be completely abandoned. I took my only food!
original PlayStation 1 controller. Let's see this. I love the story of the Nintendo PlayStation. Nintendo PlayStation. Well, you know about that shit, right? Ah, I might, but originally, it's not coming to me immediately. Originally, Nintendo and Sony were going to partner uh, to make a... Uh, I think it was either like an, a revision of the Super Nintendo or just like a new console entirely that runs on disc. I see, I see. And then I think Nintendo like and Sony had some sort of disagreement. So Sony was like, fuck you. We're making our own system. Right. And then Nintendo partnered with Philips and made Hotel Mario. Uh, a worthwhile investment, I would say. Imagine if we lived in the world where, uh, you know, like, the Nintendo PlayStation was just, like, a thing. It would be kind of crazy. Yeah, if only Spyro could swim, this puzzle would not be, a. Uh... am afraid to run because I don't want to run inside that water. I did it anyway. I did it anyway. I did it anyway. Oh, you did it anyway. Where the fuck am I? What were we talking about? Gravy and biscuits? Yeah. I think they look neat. <laughs> I'm glad I, I I'm glad we have a fan. Do you want a Big Mac right now? Not especially. No. I'm sure you would here, okay. Oh, it's okay. The, the this isn't the especially cool pairing. I'm glad that they take you back up here. Mm. They, they, they know where the area that you should be going is. that last time as well just like ooh, a box well the colors and then, and the color just it just instinctively being like i need to hit that whoops well the colors to me look like the gems rather than the fireworks <laughs> rather than fireworks you know like i i understand where you're coming from i just think it's funny Spyro gets so excited about treasure that he runs headfirst into firecrackers and dies Treasure. Nah, 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 nah. I, I wonder what's around here. This is gonna be me when um somebody asks me for the child support. That was a bad joke. <laughs> <laughs> I just think about that picture a lot. <laughs> it's like... <laughs> it's like, Luigi, where's the child support? And then it shows him, like, lost in a crowd. I see. Ah! So close. Yay! <laughs> Bye, Mom!
Still missing 103 gems. I'm gonna check this cave again. I, I think I got literally everything in here, but... Might as well. I was literally just there. Yeah. Is there anywhere else I can fly to that I haven't thought of? I mean, there's a decent chunk of the level you just never bothered exploring. Is this where I started? No. You start at the bottom of the cave full of the scary ants. <laughs> bottom and now I'm at the top? Yeah. No one really cares about the guy at the bottom. Kidney would have never survived this game. If he managed to get past that boss fight, he would stop playing because these guys are scary. Hmm. What the f this you now have super breath that's scary what do you think you could do with super breath i don't know i thought maybe shoot farther but uh <laughs> this super breath shit is uh it's kind of cool wow <laughs> bet you weren't expecting that huh no i can't say i was oh <laughs> That's not... Where's that level I went?
wizard. Yeah. November. Am I supposed to be able to like... Why don't you just like, you know, tag along? She doesn't feel <clears throat> like it. Stupid game mechanic anyway. Can I get those wizards from here? Wizard. Yeah, we you just did. That's the part of the level that I said you just never bothered exploring. Wizard. Like you could have gotten them from the. Wizard. You you you're halfway through killing the ants. Why are you going this way? Wizard. Wizard. <laughs> What's so funny? I'm just thinking like <laughs> being distracted. So wait, I'm supposed to get kissed by that fairy, run my ass all through those caves, and get those ants one by one? Well, no, you're meant to be able to do them all in quick succession, but... How the fuck am I supposed to get all of them? By being fast. <clears throat> I cannot get that last one. Are you kidding me? Think of the level layout again. The level layout? It always comes back to thinking about how the level is structured. I wanna do that. Why are you playing Spyro? Why don't you play them? There we go. Even flow. That was all of them, right? Oh. There we go. Damn. Unfortunately, Hero King, you know what this means. No, no more fairy kisses. We're done with the level. No more fairy kisses. That's it.
What what a lovely first sound to be greeted by the moment you enter the level. I already got this guy's little thing. Why is he laughing at me? I felt like it. Ow! Oh! <laughs> Sorry. Unsubscribing? You're oh, I was like, you're not even subscribed, but I see the badge. <laughs> <laughs> Subscribing just so I can unsubscribe to voice my um, disapproval of your decisions. Isn't it interesting how subscribe on one platform can mean something entirely different on another? Yeah. I like these big guys. They're funny. Ow! They're so loud. He's just mad. Yeah, this is a really fucked up level in the Reignited Trilogy. Deja vu. Ow. How do I get my dragonfly back? You kill the little creatures in the level so you get your health back. Yeah, but that... It's dead. How is it supposed to eat that? Uh, magic. Uh, wow. Help. In the, uh, Reignited Trilogy, could you move the camera up and down? Um... I don't recall. Probably. Because, I don't know, I, I find myself instinctively using the right stick sometimes. I've gotten used to using the triggers for the cameras, but... Sometimes I just want to look up and down. Spyro! You're not afraid of those big, noisy, gigantic, awful beasts, are you? Of course not. I didn't think so. <laughs> just had to check. Yeah, just had to check. I wasn't. It wasn't like a sign of like intimidation or anything. I was just like, yeah, I didn't think so. The guy was a bit fruity. Uh, there are quite a few of them in this game that are a, a little fruity. I will say. <laughs> <laughs> That one dog. It's. <laughs> you know, you know Look, what I'm talking about. I'm, I'm just correct. I'm just correct. I don't have a problem with it or anything, but. Uh, ground, dead. Brown pound. Okay, so this upcoming jump here is the fucked up one in the Reignited trilogy. What'd they do? So basically, with 60 FPS, this guy br So you know how this guy's meant to like bring up and down the platforms? In the Reignited Trilogy, he brings it up, but then on 60 FPS, he never brings it back down. What? So he just puts up an- it, Yeah. Only on 60 FPS, so it's like... He just decides to put up an impenetrable wall and then starts laughing at you. <laughs> it's like, well, there's nothing I can do. Hi, Dynamoto. Hi, Dynamoto. Did they, so they never patched that? No, <laughs> it's just that. <laughs> the game came out in a world where you can, like, fix video it's games. still there. I tried playing through the game again, like, six months ago, and I got up to that part, and then I was reminded all over again, and it's like, uh-oh. Like, so all you have to do to fix it is turn it down to 30 FPS, and it's... then it'll fix itself, but it's so dumb. That's so confusing. Like, I, I, I just said it, but I'll say it again. We, the game came out in a world where, like, you can just, like, fix video games with the internet. Yeah. Oh, thank you for releasing me. <laughs> you see, that one was different, because instead of just thanking you for releasing him, he started off with an, ah, oh, thank you. That's true. The very, very dialogue from all of them. <laughs> I 
You have family over. Oh, beef tri-tip? Ooh. I'll never forget the time Sounds that- Sounds good. I'll never forget the time- or the, I guess, handful of times me and my friends went over- or went to a uh, Brazilian grill. Uh, I, I, I've been to a Brazilian grill one time and it was like the best thing ever. Anyway, is, continue. It is the best thing ever. Did yours have like grilled pineapple? Yeah. Mm. The grilled pineapple wasn't especially new to me, but a lot of the other things were like, oh, this is insane. Uh, I'm not a big steak guy, but that was like, that was, that was life changing. It really is, and also same. I, I, I don't feel super strongly about steaks either usually, but like, that 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 was some good stuff. I was, I mean, like even though the the beef stuff was like really good, I I was more partial to like the chicken that they prepared. Chicken is good. I mean, yeah. <laughs> I had chi I had a uh, chicken for dinner. Uh, from a place that literally just opened. Ooh, nice. What sort of chicken? Uh, wings. But... Fair enough, fair enough. Tasty. Um, it was nice. It was honestly kind of funny, like... Great work, Spider. Hang on. If you keep this up, you'll learn all the tricks of the magic crafter world. <laughs> he gets cut off! I love it! CD space. Um, it was a very interesting experience, though, because, uh, like, it was the fr we literally went there, like, on the first day, so, you know, whatever, yeah. but, like, it was, like, I, I always hear people talk about places being understaffed. That place was overstaffed. <laughs> I see. Anytime somebody would walk in, they would, like, they would yell, they'd be like, walk on a... Like literally everybody in the Jeez. everybody behind the counter would do that. It was, it was crazy. That's pretty insane, I will say. Yeah. The manager came over uh, to talk to us specifically. Nice, and, nice. And we uh, ate our food, and they were just like, "Yeah, we'll we'll be getting trays in soon." <laughs> Because they didn't wow. have, they didn't have trays. Incredible! They had a billion staff and no trays. Yeah. It was a supplier issue. Fair enough. But, I mean, the wings were all right. Chicken and wings. Back are... at the start of the level. Yeah. Well, I, I'm missing stuff. Yeah, I know. Chicken wings. They're, they're just. I don't know what it is, but they're just. They're expensive. Yeah, it's. It's messed up. Like, why is. I mean, I, I know it has to do with, like, parts of the chicken and all that, but, like. Isn't it kind of weird that you can buy chicken breast and get, like, a lot more meat uh, for less money than buying a thing yeah. of chicken wings? Yeah. Yeah, well, it, it's it's messed up. Oh, was I supposed to glide from from there? I don't know. Do you think you were? Maybe because I can't think of any other part in the level where I could do that. You heard breast and meat. Yeah, yeah. Oh, but no, I think it's kind of messed up as well because, like, I don't know. Um, it's. I, like, I get it, that was just, like, the different amounts of meat you get from them, plus, you know, chicken breast is usually a bit less flavorful, etc. But it's still, like, the price disparity is kind of insane. Mm, there's nothing better than my, my, my mom, my mom's oven, oven-baked, dry, tough, flavorless chicken breast. Mm. Well, that's just like a skill issue in terms of cooking to make the chicken breast boring. That shit sounds so good. <laughs> that, 
I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Why are you sorry? <laughs> I'm literally just saying, like, that that's just a cooking skill issue if you can't make chicken breast taste good. Yeah, but it, it sounds like I'm insulting, like, my mom. <laughs> I don't know, I think you can occasionally be like, mm, this particular food that uh, my family makes is not very good without it being like a direct insult to someone. Also, you've done it, you've done the same thing twice now, I think. Game over? N no, just trying to make that jump up there. Well, I didn't- And then being like deflected off the geometry. But I wanna, I wanna do it. it... <laughs> Like, you don't understand how desirable the top of that arch looks. If this was in Spyro 2 or 3, you'd get a skill point for getting up there. Okay, before you do it again, can you please go and stand on the dragon platform up here so you actually have a checkpoint? No. Thank you. Streamer would keep making jokes during the investigation. No one will find your body. Wizards. Wizard. Let's see a dynamo. Go careful the part of the game where everything's a wizard. Wizard. Ow. Ow. Oh uh, yeah, this little area. Oh. Uh. Oh. <laughs> Yep, you're, you're, you're so close to getting that. Oh. Like, a few pixels off, maybe. Who <laughs> will brew be tonight? Apparently that was a good scream. Yeah. <laughs> Why did he laugh at me? <laughs> I... He's accepted his fate. <laughs> he wants to get in the last laugh before he gets torched. <laughs> he regretted his decision. <laughs> but it was too late for him. What a dumbass. For real. Why couldn't he just be like the other wizard who just put up the permanent wall that didn't go down? Is he stupid? I mean, it's true. Why do the piranha plants in Mario go down? Why don't they just stay up? They don't- they don't like being out for too long. I'm trying to figure out how to get that. Well, I do see a very high point in the level, right- right there. Just starting to get it. Yeah, right. this is a cute level, I like it. Are you leaving us, Dynamoto? Do you love this dragon? I feel like a dragon. I love this dragon. Ah. Uh, the, the soothing laughter of the egg thief. 
<laughs> Remember that these blue thieves haven't stolen eggs only in the Magic Crafter world. Don't worry, I'll take care of them. 41. Yay. Oh, so yay, Dynamo, you can still watch for a while. Just might have to leave suddenly, unfortunately, but ah well. Oh, I... I, I hope you'll be okay. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but I'm struggling to stay awake to a degree. Might be a blood sugar thing. This is a good skybox. I know I say that about a lot of them, but this is a good skybox. This game does environments a lot, or really well. A lot. It does them a lot. It Yeah, it does tend to do them quite a few times, I guess. Sleepy, check my glucose level. I, I checked it like a few minutes ago. Yeah, it's like 250, which isn't great. My thing kept yelling at me to refill my insulin. Which doesn't sound like a terrible idea. Yeah, dang, I'm gonna like it. Like I said, <laughs> it, it, it's at 251. Food? No! Quite the opposite, actually. Uh, so... It's at, um, 251 right now. <laughs> wow! Should I put a cooldown on that one? I don't think so. I think that we can, for the most part, trust people to not be stupid with it. Pet food? <laughs> what the fuck? This does not seem like a great idea. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's tempting you. You cannot resist the allure of the firecracker box on the edge of a cliff. What's the worst that could happen, really? I think Bubsy says that. I believe it. Why didn't Bubsy beat the shit out of this guy? I, I don't think he can. Have you played a Bubsy game? No, I, I'm interested in playing 3D. I think it would be an interesting game if nothing else. Not the original? The original is not look as interesting to me. They just kind of look like bad 2D platformers from the era. But like there's something that looks uniquely bad about 3D. Like the uh like the death cutscenes. Yeah, partially that. Also just I don't know. It's a, it's a very aesthetically sparse game in a way that's like, hmm. I'd be interested to like walk around there for ten minutes before feeling ill. <laughs> I, I, I know what you mean. Um, have you heard of a game called Eggs of Steel? <laughs> no. Are you looking this up? I am looking this- oh my goodness. They can't know? <laughs> this is scary. <laughs> Eggs of Steel is so good. I mean, okay. It is it is kind of a um ambitious project, I will say. Because it is a collaboration between Enix of Square Enix um an animation studio that later worked on uh, the movie Life of Pi. Um, I see. Um, uh, published by Atlas. Kind of a kind of ambitious project. Wild. It's a. Uh, it's a. It's kind of an interesting, like, technical, technological concept.
This portal leads to a special yeah. place where you can learn to fly. I remember when I was a young dragon, earning my wings. Learn to fly. Got it. <laughs> what a rude asshole. He's so mean. But uh, it's time. Another flight level. Exciting. This might be the last thing we Don't do. Don't sound excited. <laughs> yeah, a little excited. Uh, it's it like from a technological perspective, it's an interesting concept. Making a 2D platformer that um, if, in which uh your platforms are pre-rendered PNGs. That is very interesting. Like the actually. environment is just a pre-rendered image, and that's you, wild. You are. It, it's essentially. It's like Resident Evil. Yeah, I, I was thinking like I feel like that works in something like Final Fantasy VII, but a platform with that's a very different vibe to me. You are never going to believe this, but the game is not. It's not great. <laughs> what? Really? You you never I wouldn't have suspected this. You're never gonna believe this. I, I I don't think I can believe it. I think you're lying to me. Oh whoa! Ah, uh, I love the waste time button. I'm just doing it to flex. It's fine. Also, I'm not going to be able to hang around for all of Astrobot today. That's fine. You have to go shopping. Yeah, I might... I don't know, what I might do, if that's okay, is like, once Spyro is over, I might dip out for a while to get the food and then maybe rejoin, like, halfway through Astro, if that's okay. Uh, if you want to. You'll, you'll have to tell me in chat, because I don't look at this Yeah. Word. All good. Atlas should try to remake it, even though they were just the publisher. <laughs> also, yeah, the cutscenes are really good. I love that, like, all of them were, like, animated first and then dubbed later. That's wild. I like it. It's a good, um, good idea. Wait, how do you attack? Oh, you can attack! I thought you couldn't. Oh. That's interesting. What? Hang on, I'm trying to think. No, you- okay, I guess you just forgot. Good? Oh yeah, you- I had to light up the, uh... Yeah. Well, you're getting better each time. You'll you'll get it soon. I think I missed one. You did. But like, as I said, you're getting better. Charlie, put me down. Charlie. <laughs> Don't, don't put me <laughs> I love that shit. <laughs> I love that, like, whenever, like, something happens in a cutscene, you can hear, like, the voice actors, like, react to that change. That's... Th this game sounds like the best thing ever, maybe. Like, there's a cutscene where, like, the villain character is, like, grabbed by a crane, and he's like, Charlie, put me down! And then it, like, the the cutscene, like, shows, like, a vat of lava, and you can hear, like, the, the voice actor change it, like, oh, don't, don't, don't <laughs> put me down! Uh... Did you not get the rings? Oh, okay. 
Oh no! Yeah, that's a, a really awesome. That one's dragon. that one's rough. Well. It's okay, though. You've got it this time for sure, then. I, I think I need to watch these cutscenes, though. They sound important. <laughs> <laughs> they are very good cutscenes. I love- a, a really awesome dragon. I used to, um... I mean, I'm, I'm sure you, you've you heard of Panutz through Osmosis, but... He, yeah. He, he streamed that game, and it, it's one of my favorite streams of his. I love that... The way he reacts to like the cutscene that plays whenever you um defeat a boss, he's like, "This is the shit that they play in in like bowling alleys." <laughs> high <laughs> praise, high praise. There's like this egg character like dancing and doing the sprinkler and shit, and he's That's like, "That's awesome." He's like, "Strike!" <laughs> How? Yeah, I can't believe you took down the VOD. Probably because it mentioned somebody. Hell yeah. Well, while you don't have enough time to do another full level, you can at least probably explore the hub world a bit more. You're still missing a bunch of stuff from it, so might as well. New record. You don't, you don't want to go for the high score? You? No. There are re-uploads? I didn't know that. I thought it was just gone. Hi, Spyro. <laughs> he tried his best. His best just was not very good. I like these guys. Is that you? I, I don't think it's me, but I, I like them a lot. You don't you, you don't identify with them? I mean not a, not especially, but I think they're awesome. They're the ones I identify with the most, that's for sure. Wizard. They're kind of like Lily. A little. I, she's kind of like that to me. <laughs> um, I, I don't know. I think Spyro, while he on the whole, he's a bit like, why do I have to do this? He's still like, I enjoy killing wizards. Wizard. He says that every time he kills one. Who, Spyro? Yeah. No, the wizards say that when they die. Yeah, and then he says it to the wizards. <laughs> and, like, mockingly. <laughs> That's so stupid. Don't, don't, this don't is the dumbest. Don't say that ever <laughs> again. You don't like you don't like the idea of Spyro just randomly sounding like that. Wizard. Yeah, that's what he sounds like. <laughs> I'm sorry. The only dynamo to put it in. I, I... <laughs> oh, is it? Oh. Well, that's like one of those crates that I need to, uh, have broken by external means. I don't remember- well... Hmm. There are many ways in which these can be broken. Uh, my first thought was, like, the cannons, but... 
there is a lack of canon in this level. This level isn't canon? No. For some reason, I'd know, just this one level specifically isn't canon to this game, but everything else around it is. How deep does the Spyro lore go? Um... I don't know, not super deep. It's a, it's a 3D platformer from this era. It's a game made for kids. It's a baby game for babies. That's why I've died 30 times. It's more than 30. I said I wasn't keeping count, but you know. Is the thing that I need nearby? Because like, I can't, there's not really anything in the level. Like, we'll keep looking bottom. around. There was that ramp, but... I don't know. It's kind of far away. <laughs> oh! There we go. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, you turn really sharply when you're supercharging. Wait. Now time for the hidden treasure chest. Yeah, because I- Yeah, the bug with you is a dragonfly. His name is Sparks. Try to keep up. <laughs> I say because- <laughs> after asking. Yeah. Uh, isn't the chest, like... I've seen it before, right? Um... Uh, I don't know. Maybe. No Hero King. Last time I checked, Spyro is not also a dragonfly. But he enters the dragonfly. That's later in the series. Unfortunately. You should, you should totally play Enter the Dragonfly. You'd love it so much. Really? No. Oh. I think it would be funny for you to play it, like, a little bit of it, though. All of it? Just... I mean, I 100 percent at that one. I wouldn't recommend it. Welcome but... to game clearing. I, I wouldn't even recommend, like, beating the game. But, like, <laughs> I'd recommend you playing a little bit just to kind of, like, see the extent of it. <laughs> like, just how bad it is. Oh, wait. I've been to that little cove there. Have you? That little, you know, the... I, I know the one you're talking about, but I don't know, have you? That, that cove, you know? Uh, that might be too low. Get ready to add this, uh... I haven't been adding anything to the thing anymore. I just know the general vibe of how many times you died, and it's more than 30. Dynamoto, I, uh... <laughs> I made a revelation, like, two days ago at this point, and I found out that that song is apparently a diss track on Drake. And honestly, I, like, I haven't been the same since. I didn't realize it. What song? Double Life? Well, the hub world has been fully explored. So I guess that's a good stopping point, right? I mean, yeah, there's not really enough time to do an entire level. I think I should save without quitting. <laughs> or quit without saving. Save without quitting, you're playing Spyro forever. <laughs> creepy pasta. The, the creepy pasta is just me making you. Like you're not allowed to play anything else until you've beaten all of Spyro. I can get another life.
I mean, it's not like the live save, right? They reset every time you restart the game, right? Oh. I don't remember, actually. About to find out. <laughs> Well, I'm pretty sure you start off with three lives, so if anything, you're doing the one thing possible to make that that you won't find out. Okay. <laughs> I, I just think it's funny, though, like, scientifically trying to prove something and doing the one and only thing that'll make it impossible to prove anything with it. <laughs> Be right back. <laughs> you wanna hop out? I'm gonna head yeah. off for now. I'll be, I'll be, I'll be right back. Might be, I might I'll be a few be minutes, back. but yeah, I'll be back later, maybe. I hope. All right. Bye, bye for now. Thank you, sub. Bye. I, I, I hope you're enjoying Spyro. I am a lot. I, I, I realize I probably haven't been making that clear, but I, I am. <laughs> It's the game that I I think is fun to get lost in. It, it is an aesthetic. <laughs> uh, it like some game, I don't know. I, I feel like some games are a lot less fun to kind of be wandering around for ages in. But this is one of the ones where it's like, no, I think it's cool. Yeah, I get it. But yeah, bye bye. Bye.